welcome back team uh, guys i guess you people remember the topic if not let me tell you we are dealing with it policies and how we create it policies for organizations and we exclusively discuss about why simulation models are used in development of it policies okay to recollect some information about the it policies and how they are used in business entities let us start discussing about this example this example is related to a university and how a it enabled university use it policies here if you see it contains information like it policy breach emergency management team here it contains different types of policies that are related to the it governance and what are the policies that we should follow and who are the people who are governing these it policies IT policies related to different information. Okay, this is about working group and this is external hosting group. And these policies should be definitely followed by the people who are associated with or using those activities. This is the content that for which these policies are defined, and this content will be used by the people who are connecting to the information system. If you clearly see what are the IT policies that are made and who are governing those policies. Or like the data and what some some issues happen with IT governance, the people who should respond to those issues, that information. See, this IT policy is very important for organizations. Hope you guys understood it. If you see this changing IT policy making, so let us understand. So maybe uh, if you see web normal web technologies uh, maybe a few decades ago it is completely driven completely different when compared to the current scenario of utilization of it the field of it policy is changing driven by the development such as open data computational methods of processing data opinion mining simulations visualization of uh, rich data sets uh, all combined with public engagement social media and par participatory tools see to create IT policy, it is very important to understand these concepts. All these concepts can be effectively utilized for the development of IT policy. Let's see, we need to use definitely computational methods. Sometimes uh, if some information is available related to the how people might respond to the IT policy, based on that we can create some visualizations and we can make some meaningful assumptions based on which we can make needed changes to the IT policies. Inclusions of some of the excellent features by Web 2.0 and Web 3.0 has um, definitely Im improved the way the information technology will be used and increasing the utilization of the social networks. And the data that is generated by these enriched features can be utilized by the policy makers for making policies. If policy makers start utilizing such information, I can say that definitely the amount of data that is uh, used by the policy makers will be huge though it is complex it is possible that they make some effective policies for the businesses and their information technology tools while making policies it is very important that people make a valid policy and most appropriate and applicable policies and it is also important that the policies definitely address the complexity of the data okay so uh, though it is uh, a difficult task there are several tools that are available to address the complexity of data that is available and uh, People who are developing IT policies can definitely effectively use such technologies to make better policies. If you understand, if you try to understand the information provided here, so it can be censored that from the last slide, it can be censored that the type of data, the quality of the data and the kind of operations people engage with all are becoming very complex. We are using more and more IT. We are using more and more enriched quality data. We are using IT for different purposes. Lots of loads of information is created. 
huge data is generated from day-to-day -day activities in such situations it is very difficult for the people who are engaged with making it policies to address all the needs of data that is generated and how the information access should be provided by the different p types of the people when we have very limited tools and technologies to create it policy so to address this complexity we use different types of technologies and tools to understand how the it policy is effectively working to secure privacy and to secure security of the data and other things some of the ways that it policy makers follow to create better it policies include utilization of agent based models and hybrid modeling techniques and using some simulation models like open collaboration and transparency in data and using some of the social media related aspects help them to create better solutions so let us start understanding what kind of value added features were created by the simulation models to understand how IT policy can be created and tested before it is implemented for the organization see what happens is after creating a IT policy it is very important that the policy is tested effectively before it is implemented by the organization it is not an easy task to test a IT policy in real time because usually it can't be done because when we implement when we, without implementing IT policy for the organization if you implement something like dummy thing for organization it will become a difficult issue for them to understand who are the participants are the are the participants are real ones or not we don't understand so it become very difficult so we definitely need a simulation model to test it whether the policy is working fine or not okay so if you don't test it properly it might create some problems for the organization and it can uh, create some flaws in the IT policies because of which security privacy of the system can be compromised understood so this is how uh, we deal with uh, what is IT policy and how it is changing and what kind of uh, tools you can use to create a better policy for the organization in the next video we discuss about different types of simulation models and how they are influencing creation of IT policies for the organization